Ugh, okay. So I don't think that I have proof now, because I tried two different things that didn't work. Let's say I don't have proof. I'm sorry, Your Honor, I ultimately don't have proof. Alright, next line of questioning. Alright, next, next sec selection. Here. There have been times when I took a job without having met my client. And why would you not meet with certain clients? Recently, I have been receiving more requests. If I met each and every client, I would lose some nice business opportunities. Nice business opportunities? On top of which, the times have changed. It is now the age of information and computers, correct? Well, I have joined the times and now take requests via electronic mail. Electronic mail? Do you have to mail that in a special insulated envelope? What an idiot. Uh, I'm very sorry. I despise the shortening of words. What I meant by electronic mail is what is commonly referred to as email. Email? In the contest of mimicry, the judge would be a pair of hands down. <laughs> anyway, so you took this job without having met your client and... The request was for the murder of Juan Carita and two or three other small things. I wonder what those things are. Huh. Two or three other things? Yes. And what were these other things? A few other things that have nothing to do with this case. Hmm. What should I do? Should I let him slide? It'd be really bad if I push his buttons the wrong way and he gets mad. Press further. Whether or not they're related to this case is for the court to decide. Mr. Attorney? Yes? Everything I have said from the beginning has been nothing but beneficial to your client, which is why I wonder what is pushing you to continue with this cross-examination. Hmm. Could it be that you are planning to betray your own client? That's... I smell the stench of a backstabber. And should you turn out to be one? Well, wait. Uh-oh, this is looking really bad. I should not press my luck. All right, I have to think. Is it worth pursuing? Oh, shit. Me safe. <laughs> I was just saved like four thousand times during this fucking case. Seriously. All right, press further. Fuck it. With this, this is a very important matter. Please cooperate and tell us what these other jobs your client requested were. Mm -hmm. If it's truly that important, I suppose I don't have much of a choice. The bear figurine. The bear figurine. After the assassination of the target, I was to find that figurine. I was told this job was just as important as the actual killing. And where was that figurine? It was inside Mr. Karita's suitcase. And then, what did you do next? I handed it over to my client right away. That's right, that's what Will Powers testified. You gave it to your client. Interesting. Hmm... This information certainly sounds important to me. Witness, please include what you just stated in your testimony. As you wish. One of these was to find the bear figurine and to give it to Adrian Andrews. Hold it! I found this figurine at Mr. Ungard's mansion. If you give it to Miss Andrews, then what was it doing there? I was waiting for her there. That was also part of the plan to frame Mr. Ungard, I'm sure. Hmm, that makes a lot of sense. Ho, ho, ho. Well, Mr. Wright, do you have any problems with this piece of testimony? Oh, shit. I know what I have problems with. Not fucking saving before I make a choice. That's my problem with save. Uh, 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 uh. So let's think about this. Let's think about this. The note's a forgery. Whoever the real killer is knows that the note was a forgery. Right? So, the bear, the killer took the bear, gave it to whoever the client is, and the client brought it back to On Guard's place. What would the contradiction be? Now, the killer said that it was, it was Adrian Andrews who brought this back to On Guard's place to frame him. So, why would there be a contradiction there? I have no fucking clue. Huh. Alright, let's see here. So the killer says he gave the figurine to Miss Andrews. I know somewhere in that statement there's a contradiction. And yet, 
I know if I present something trivial here, you will cut the connection on his end. If you want to make a strong point, Phoenix, you've got to present strong evidence. She's right. So now what? Fucking shit. Now I save again. I save again. Save your game. Save your game. Save your motherfucking game. Save your game. Uh, fucking shit. Shitty dicks. Fucking shitty dicks and dicks. Uh, fuck it. Why not? Witness, let's go over this one more time. You gave Miss Andrews the bear figure. And she told you to take the bear and wait for her at a guard mansion. Is that correct? Yes, where are you going with this? Well, I think maybe you might have remembered a few things incorrectly. W what? This is a battle of wits. I can't let up on it. I don't think it's possible for Miss Andrews to have been the recipient of this bear. What the fuck? What the fuck? What? Oh. What am I supposed to present here? Obviously, this is what I'm supposed to do. I don't know what to present, though. Let me think. I gotta think hard. <laughs> this game's killing me. Oh, my God. I'm so happy I waited two years to do this. If I tried to do this two years ago, I probably would have committed suicide. So, let's see. If. If. If he said, oh my god, I'm even losing my train of thought. He's saying that he gave it to Adrian. Phoenix is saying you couldn't have given it to Adrian. And this is the reason why. Wouldn't have been the camera. The camera wouldn't have caught that. No one got a photo of anything. This can't have anything to do with anything. The suicide, the suicide note. I have no clue. The only things I could think of would be the figurine or the suicide note, but I have no clue why. I have absolutely no clue why. I think it's the suicide note because... Because... If she... Let me think about this. If she was the killer, she, she's the one who made the fake suicide note. Right? Why would she keep it in there if she knew that later on there could be a, a, a handwriting analysis proving it wasn't real? I don't know. This is ridiculously convoluted, man. This is ridiculously convoluted. Fuck me. Wait a minute. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No matter what I do, it's a shot in the dark. It's a wild guess. I don't know how anyone who's, like, thinking logically could make these fucking connections that the game's making. Seriously. Like, it's a shot. You need to know the answers to beat this game. Or just get blind luck. I don't know. It could be the note. It could be the bear. Or it could be something completely fucking stupid. I'm just gonna guess. It's either the bear or the note. I'll guess the bear. If it's wrong, I'll guess the note. I have enough. I think I did it because the music stopped, right? Alright, Shelly the Killer. If you'd really given the bear to Miss Andrews, then this item should not have been inside it. Wait a minute, so I could have said the note too. Maybe it was either one. This item? I see where you're going. Yup, that's where I'm going. Where's everyone going? Do I need to pack a suitcase? Your Honor, please think back to Miss Andrews' testimony. And I was going to burn it for her sake. And even for a single minute, this bear had actually been in Miss Andrews' hands. I'm sure she would have taken the suicide note out and burned it. What? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. 
because if she's the killer or she's the client, she made the fake suicide note. So why would she want to burn a fake suicide note? This makes no sense. None. I'm not even going to do the robble robble because that doesn't make sense. How about that? All right. Order, order, order. So that's where you two were going. So by the very fact that the suicide note was still inside the bag, tells us your client didn't know how to disassemble the puzzle. Which means? It means, Your Honor, that it's impossible for Adrian Andrews to be the client. No, it doesn't. This is bullshit. I completely disagree with this. Thinking logically, this makes zero fucking sense at all. What the fuck, man? Now I'm kind of pissed. I spent all this time on this case and the ending sucks. This makes no fucking sense. That makes no sense. Ah, oh, oh, Mr. Phoenix, right? I, I'm sure I mentioned this before. How I hate traitors above all else. I think your cross-examination has clearly demonstrated something to me. You, you must wish to break your end of your agreement. No, that's not. That's enough. If that is your intention, then there's only one thing for me to do. Wait, please. Gentlemen, ladies, please excuse me. This is, and I, I hate to say this, this is just as bad as in case three when they said that he hit a fucking giant bust under his wheelchair, which you can't do because wheelchairs have, you know, a freaking axle between the wheels. Same thing here. If she was the killer, or not the killer, if she was the client, and she faked the note to begin with, she would have known that it was a fake note and not burned it. So this is bullshit. Bad writing. God damn it. Bad writing. I have a matter that I must attend to. No, please. Not that. Mr. Attorney, bring this trial to a speedy end, and I may stay my hand. Otherwise... Mm. Wah! <laughs> robble, robble, robble. What in the Mr. Wright? Are you? Mr. Edgeworth? Yes, Your Honor. I didn't understand this witness's outburst just now. You think there's a need to hear more testimony, or is this enough? Well, we should. Edgeworth, we can't do this. If we keep this up, Maya, shill. Uh, uh, the prosecution? I... What well, does well, come over, everyone? Even you are. The prosecution rests. W what is going on around here? The prosecution has no further questions, Your Honor. Wh what? Well, I never thought I'd see the day. This is a most unusual situation. If the prosecution rests with no further questions, then the prosecution has failed to uphold its stance. If that is the case, then even though I am reluctant, I must believe that Mr. DeKiller's testimony is accurate. That would mean that the Shelly DeKiller's client is... Adrian Andrews! Nah, Mr. Wright? Y yes Your Honor? If I end the trial here right now, and your client, Matt on guard, would be declared innocent. And in his place, Adrian Andrews would be charged with murder. M Miss Andrews would be charged with murder. The prosecution has no further questions, so we will now hear the defense's final remarks. Okay. Ugh, 